Logan everyone, Marcus here, I review stuff today. I'm reviewing the song Bobby Don't You Think They Know by Morrissey. This song of course comes as a request, so as always if you would like to request something, just leave it in the comments and I'll be sure to get to it. Uh, so at this point, you know, I've heard a few songs by Morrissey. I I've heard many more songs by the Smiths, so I am very familiar with his work. But, you know, I've heard a few songs from his um, from his solo work. So, you know, of course, the Smiths' requests came in first, and they came in pretty uh, quickly and abundantly. Uh, and then once I started listening more and more to the Smiths, uh, I started, of course, getting more uh, requests to do Morrissey's solo work. So, uh, you know, I I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with his work. Uh, a little less so with his solo work, like I said, but familiar with his work nonetheless. Less. So, looking forward to it. Hope it's another great song. Let's get into it. This is again Bobby Don't You Think They Know by Morrissey. Oh, yeah. 
I love that. That was an awesome song. That was really good. So, you know, one thing, one criticism that I have sort of leveled against uh, Morrissey's solo work is I feel like just some of the songs I've heard from him, uh, from him, again, from his solo work, not from the Smiths, uh, from, from his solo work, is that... Um, some of it has just seemed like the the instrumentation was just an afterthought to his vocal performance, you know. And so, uh, to me, in a couple of the songs I've heard from him, um, the the instrumentation just seems kind of bland. It just seems kind of there. Uh, there was a specific live performance. I can't think of the name uh, of it off the top of my head. I want to say it was um, Alma Mater's. I think it was that one where I was like, yeah, the vocal performance was great. But to me, the the, uh, the instrumentation just wasn't very intriguing, uh, wasn't very exciting, and and uh, I feel like this song totally kicked that, blew that out of the water. It, it, this song to me was very interesting, both in his um, vocal performance and the lyrics, and then of course it was also very very interesting in the instrumentation. I loved what they did here with with what they had with all the different instruments that they they brought in. So a lot of fun on this one. Uh, honestly, can't wait to listen to it again. Just the energy behind it, I think, was was super. Uh, impactful for me as well so yeah let's talk about it let's see this is the first single for Morrissey's 13th studio album damn I am not a dog on a chain it features American singer and actress Thelma Houston I'm, I'm afraid I'm not familiar with who that is let's see if they got a picture um, okay still not familiar unfortunately but I'm sure uh, okay known for her work in Motown genres roles R&B or most of song in the US Number one, Don't Leave Me This Way, 1977. Okay, cool. Uh, again, not super familiar, but actually really liked uh, really liked what she did on this track as well, actually. So that was great. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at it. It says, let's hurry up. Why are you, why are you walking on this side? Get out of here. Hey, get out of here. Ice, snow, spikes below. Bobby, don't you think they know? Oh, oh, Bobby, don't you think they know? To me, I immediately thought that maybe Bobby was some sort of politician, uh, and the song was about, like... Um, some of the atrocities they committed. Let me see. According to this person, again, it is unreviewed. It's referring to Bobby Hatfield, uh, was an American singer best known, best known for one half. Let's see. One half of probably some duo, obviously. Uh, one half... Uh, with Bill Medley, he was part of the Righteous Brothers. He sang the tenor part for the duo and sang solo on the group's 1965 recording, The Unchained Melody. So I wonder what he has to do with this, perhaps. Uh, short marriage with Joyce Syro, who appeared as a dancer and Tammy. They had two children, Bobby Jr. and Kaylin. Um, not really seeing a whole lot that would immediately tell me why they chose this guy but again the song bio is unreviewed it could totally just not even be about this person again i i read it as sort of a, a asking a politician like why are these atrocities happening that's the immediate thing that i got out of the song but let's take keep taking a look so oh, oh bobby don't you think they know aren't you tired of pretending i know you're tortured below aren't you tired of pretending i know you're tortured below Skagus, a shack, Mexican mud, uh-huh, little Joe in the snow, Bobby, don't you think they know, oh, oh, Bobby, don't you think they know, let's see what this one says, Skag and Mexican mud are both slang terms for heroin, while snow is a term for cocaine, Bobby's trying to hide his misuse of hard drugs, oh, okay, so that, that makes sense, so maybe it was about that singer, maybe he battled with, with drug use, I don't, I don't know, and maybe he tried to cover it up, um, and but it's like come on man don't you think people know uh that that's kind of what i'm getting from this one so aren't you tired of pretending i know your torture below but ah the pleasure you bring for us uh whether you sing for us uh the pleasure you bring for us uh whenever you sing for us uh eighth track oh yeah a bomb come on now it says eighth track i thought he said a track when i first heard like a track a bomb uh, come on down, white mosquito, of course they know, yeah, you ain't fooling nobody, yeah, oh, snow king, come on, tootin' horse, yeah, uh, I think horse is also slang for drugs, right, um, then something worse, Bobby, don't you think they know, don't you think they know, Bobby, oh, oh, Bobby, don't you think they know, but ah, the pleasure you bring for us, ah, whenever you sing for us, ah, the pleasure you bring for us, ah, whenever you sing for us, everybody knows, you ain't fooling nobody, Lord have mercy for the man, oh, 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 Ice snow spikes below. Whoa, oh, Bobby, don't you think they know? Whoa, whoa, don't you think they know? Skagga uh, Shack, uh-huh, Mexican mud. Little Joe in the snow, Bobby, don't you think they know? 
so now now reading it I'm like yeah okay it's about a guy using drugs uh, and maybe trying to cover up that drug use uh, but again it's like come on man come on Pe- people can tell you know so uh, lyrically I mean without the context I-, I thought it was still pretty intriguing I was like what are, you know what are they talking about here but then getting the context I'm like okay this is even more interesting to me now so two thumbs up lyrically I feel like when it comes to lyrics Morrissey always does a great job between the Smiths and his solo work uh, lyrically it's all it's always very solid um, but like I said one of my criticisms about just his his solo music in general was the instrumentation just not being interesting enough I feel like this one really uh, got away from that I, I really enjoyed uh, a lot of what I heard in this one First of all, bass. There were a few times when that bass guitar really came through, and that rhythm that it really set was, was, was very enjoyable. You got a little bit of electric guitar here and there, almost like a mini so I don't want to call it a solo, but like a nice little lick in there uh, really stood out to me. I thought was really good with the electric guitar. Uh, that piano from the very beginning of the song, that piano to me was already more interesting than some of the other uh, instrumentation I've heard from Morrissey. Uh, so that piano was was very very good at the beginning there, and then they kind of kept it here and there throughout the song and. And I think it really, it really worked for me there. Um, let's see, and then a little bit of saxophone also. I noticed, I noticed that saxophone there towards the end, and that was really cool. I think it added just another really enjoyable layer. Um, vocally, I think Morrissey does a great job here. Still, his sort of deeper voice is a great con- uh, contrast with uh, Thelma Houston's, I guess, more um, of, I don't know, another word, the, the high, her higher pitch. Um, and so I think they really did a good job together. I think Thelma Houston really brought a nice energy vocally to the performance as well. Uh, and then Morrissey kind of subdued it a little bit more. I think it was a really nice contrast, but it worked really well together. So uh, I think they did a great job here. Uh, and I, th- I think each one did a great job separately, but I think putting them both on the track, I think just made it that much stronger. So a uh, very great job here from, from everyone involved. I mean, uh, to me, again, the instrumentation here was very enjoyable. And the vocals, I think, also uh, provided that nice kick to the to the uh, to the song, so two thumbs up instrumentally for sure. And then as far as replay value goes, look, this one is going on the playlist. You know, there are some Morrissey songs where I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll listen to it again, maybe I won't, whatever. This one to me had the energy, had the instrumentation, had the vocals, had enough um, interesting lyricism for me to be like, yeah, I want to hear this again. This is going on the playlist, so I give it two thumbs up for replay value as well. Uh, this was just a great song. I had a great time with it, and, and I want more like it. So if Morrissey's made some more. more songs like this that I think are just uh, really showcase a lot of different skills I definitely want to hear more f- more from him so uh, anyway thank you so much for whoever requested this one great request um, as always if you would like to request something leave it in the comments I'll be sure to get to it if you enjoyed the music as much as I did of course go support the artists go listen to their music wherever you can and one place you should be able to find this song is going to be in my Spotify playlist it's in the description below and it has every single song I've heard so far on my channel of course if you want to support me just all the normal stuff you do on YouTube you know like and subscribe and comment Alright guys, that's going to be it for me. See you on the next one. Bye for now.